Plus Woolmers Against Child Abuse. So you need to stick around for this one. Plus, In The Zone shares a snippet of the Kiwanis Little Bee Spelling Competition. All this and more in today's show. Students holding hands and standing together. Voices chanting in solidarity with one sound message, stop child abuse. It was a message made clear by the combined schools that formed the Woolmers Group of Trust Schools as they decided to take a stand and lend their support to this major issue. Most of the children in Jamaica are being abused and it basically when they grow up they, they have it in their hearts and then they become violent and stuff and it affects them. I think child abuse is very, um, that it has a very great impact on children, like it has it's very impact on their schoolwork, sometimes they are very depressed and like they have issues and that the teachers would not know unless they speak to them about it. So how did this initiative come about? Well, it came about after having a fourth form social studies class, actually. Um, the girls in the class, we were talking about social issues. And when we got to child abuse, drug abuse, you know, domestic violence and stuff, they got energized. They were talking about it, giving experiences and experiences of their friends. And they said to me, Miss, why this can't stop? I'm like, I have no idea, but it starts with the family. And the girls decided that they wanted to do something, you know, to showcase their disgust for child abuse. And afterwards, we came up with this idea, you know, it's almost the oldest school in the Caribbean. Um, why not let us join forces, all three schools, and say this is our stance against child abuse, uh, having a human mosaic to cross the three schools. I sometimes think that it is taken for granted that um, the physical abuse is the only type of abuse. And even that is taken as a behavioral modification, so to speak. And when we spread it and extend it to the verbal abuse, where children are being called all sorts of names that affect their self-esteem, which ultimately impacts on how they perform academically or who that person is in their adulthood. No child abuse! No child abuse! As they echo that important message, there is just one thing these students want you to do. Just by listening to them, simply just listening to them. Um, not because you're an adult means that you're right all the time. Sometimes the child is also right. So I think just the mere fact of listening to them will make a difference. Up next, In The Zone News with our new host, Dominique Boudou, as Rosiska moves on to new experiences. Welcome to In The Zone News. I am Dominic Badu. Recently, young spellers from various schools participated in the Kiwanis Club of New Kingston Little B Spelling Competition. We caught a few of them in action. Your word is puppet. 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 P O P P E T. Puppet. Good job. Your word is pudding. Pudding. She's eating cornmeal pudding. Pudding. P U D D I N G. Good job. Your word is thunder. 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 T S U N D E R. Thunder. For an early age, at early childhood level, this activity is so important. It's one that evokes the whole thing of putting your syllabus together, which I'm sure the teachers realize that they have to enforce this to the, these young children. And so they have to also use their thinking skills in order to get the words out. And the winner of the competition was Angela Butler from Liberty Press, your word, if you spell this word correctly, you will be the winner. Your word is because. Because. Because.
Cameroons were very happy. Congratulations, Gianna. Very happy. So elated. I was so nervous, but I'm okay now. How do you feel about winning the spelling competition today? Great! <laughs> Why do you feel great? Because I knew I was going to be the champion girl. Such a bright star. That's the end of today's show.